You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Black Series figure review. We've got the second figure from The Acolyte. We have Jedi Master Soul, really one of the best characters from the series. I really liked his role. A um, little bit undecided about the action figure at this point. Um, it could just be my copy, but it appears to be a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of a paint misprint on the uh, on the face sculpt. So we'll, we'll still bust it open and have a look. Um, but yeah, it appears to be a little off with the eyes, but nevertheless, we'll look at the packaging. Obviously, the Acolyte, number two, Jedi Master Soul, has a little little bio on the show on the back, not necessarily anything about the character himself. But yeah, he was definitely a very, very well acted character in the series. You know, definitely... Had his flaws as a character, as a Jedi. But, uh, yeah, enough about the character and the packaging. Let's bust it open and take a look. All right, here is Jedi Master Soul out of the packaging. And, um, yeah, like I said, there was a slight little paint. Sort of, it was like it was like the ran under the scanner and it did, just didn't quite line up right. But now that I've got it out of the packaging, it doesn't look too bad. It's sort of... If you get it up really close, you can kind of notice it, but sort of keeping it at a distance like this, I don't think it's noticeable. I think it's a reasonably good sculpt. I will get close so you can see what I mean. Um, just, you know, if you have the ability to to look in stores and, and find a copy, um, you know, that's that's just one little thing to look out for, is those tight, just those minor paint blemishes, which may, may or may not break or make a figure for you. Um, in terms of accessories, it comes with his lightsaber, which you know I sort of thought none of the none of the sort of the lightsabers in in the acolyte sort of came across as overly inspired. But you know now they've got the figures in hand and can have a look at the lightsaber hilts. You know, not that they're super superiorly detailed or anything, but you know I can sort of accept the uh, the design a little bit more. So yeah, Soul definitely has quite a simple yeah you know, it's a simple hilt but it works yeah nice 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 simple design there and he should too have a peg on the belt a peg hole on the belt there and that does fit on there nicely so yeah that's what you get in terms of accessories let's uh plug that bad boy back in We'll get a look at the figure. I guess you could also count the uh, the soft goods robe as an accessory if you choose to. And yeah, they've they've done something a little bit different with the uh, with the fi acolyte figures here, and that's um, you know, the hood is actually sort of pinned down, so you can't actually put the hood up on the figure unless you sort of cut cut that little stitch in the back. But, you know, and then you've got the catch-22 of, you know, is it going to sit as well as it, as it is right now when you, um, when you unstitch that? Because it sort of holds, holds that down. Um, you know, maybe if you can, you know, use a bit of starch or, or iron it down a little bit and you can get it to sort of sit the way you want it, maybe it will. Um, but yeah, in terms of the, uh, the robes, I think, you know, compared to some of the earlier ones... Um, the fact that the Jedi are actually coming with robes in the Acolyte is actually a really good thing. Because um, a lot of Jedi haven't come with robes in the past. And within the last sort of couple of years, we've had some Jedi that have come with them. So that's, it's, it is a welcome welcome change. And uh, yeah, they have been made well. So I've got to give them credit. So I am going to remove it. So we can get a look at the uh, the figure itself. Now let's get a close up look at this face. See if I can uh, zoom up a little bit. So you can kind of see the the sculpt of the eyes. You know, it's sort of 
the paint is applied just over the sort of the top of the eye, top eyelid there. And, you know, it's such a minuscule little thing. You know, it's it's you know, it's a it's a bee's, you know what? You know, that may that may make or break for some people, but you know, we'll go back and take a look, you know, you you barely notice that from, from a distance. So I'm not too I'm not too fussed about it. I think it's fine. You know, first sort of staring at it in the packaging, I was like, oh god, we're gonna get another one of these to replace it. Um but you know what, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's it's fine. You know, maybe if, if at some stage they end up on discount somewhere, I don't know. How, how much these are going to actually hit retail, I'm not sure. We'll see. So, yeah. But, yeah, aside from that, I think, you know, the paint applications on the face do look good, despite that sort of very, very minor little slip. But, yeah, the, the sculpt is really nice. The hair's really well done. Very Jedi Knight-ish. I love the... Uh, I love the sort of the mustard yellow of the robes. It's almost this there's almost a warmth a warmth to it which I, I really dig. And it does, it differentiates the look of the Jedi from the Jedi the prequels, which are very sort of just browns and, and tans and that sort of colour. There wasn't wasn't a lot of warmth. You know, I guess tans and browns are quite warm colours anyway, but I don't know, the yellow just kind of it's just something different to differentiate the era. I do love the belts, you know, they're a little bit more, a little bit more special, something about it, I don't know, it's got the little symbol of the Jedi there, they still carry the basics, they're little, little cylinders and pouches and stuff like that, one thing I do like about Soul is the sort of the armour on the hands, I really like that, like it's, it's very sort of ornamental and ornate, but still functional so I love that the Jedi was still sort of using functional attire in this era you know at the same time you know they weren't necessarily fight, out fighting lightsaber battles but they were doing you know physical missions yeah sort of nice sort of warm red red brown boots looks good I'll sort of one. I'll say one thing here, um, and you could just be the articulation, but yeah, there's quite a lot of room in around the base of the waist. There, there's quite a lot of space all the way around. You know, maybe this this could have been a little bit tighter around the waist. Maybe the waist could have been a little bit wider. You know, in that sort of sculpt there, but. You know, when he's sort of standing back with the robe on, you're probably not going to notice that too much. You know, maybe if you go a little bit too tight, he's going to look a bit too skinny. So maybe it's just... It gives you a bit of an allowance for, you know, posing. Um, but yeah, that's that's quite a gap in there. It's quite a gap. But yeah, that's okay. It's okay. It's not going to hurt my feelings. I'm not going to be sad for the rest of my days because an action figure isn't perfect. But it's all right. <laughs> uh, Articulation-wise, he does have the, uh, the ball joint in the head, uh, ball joint in the neck there, ball hinges in the shoulders with the in the butterfly joint, so that's always a good thing. Nice joint in the elbows, get a good bend. He has the hinges in the wrists. So yeah, some of the figures with the new joints with the ball and socket and hinge in the joints, it's not throughout the entire line yet. They're still using the hinge hinge wrists. Some obviously have got that giant hula hoop ball joint there in the waist. We do have ball and socket in the in the thighs. 
in the hips swivels at the top of the thighs, which you know makes me believe these legs are reused. I'm not sure from where. I will do some investigating shortly after to discover where these are reused from, because most of the new figures don't have that thigh joint anymore. There is ball hinges in the knees, ball hinges in the ankles, and the rockers in the feet. So you get a little bit more, a little bit more stance happening. But I'm digging Sol. I think he looks good. You know, I'm I'm sort of I'm already over that sort of slight misprint on the eyes. I can't tell with the naked eye really. It's only when I get super duper close with the camera. Or you know, stare at it really close. But from this sort of distance and angle, not a problem, not a big deal. I think it ends up looking pretty, pretty good. Decent likeness. I dig the figure. You know, I'd like to see them. I'd like to see Hasbro revisit him as the younger soul. I think that would be cool. You know, we've love to see them sort of go back and 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 do the Jedi from the past. Kelnaka, young Torben, young soul, younger Indira, Indara. I hope we get some more more characters from this series, as well as obviously the Stranger, Chimera. Yeah, love to hear your thoughts. Sound out down below. We're we'll dropping reviews for the rest of, rest of the wave in the in the coming days on my channel. So yeah, if you want to have a look at the rest of these, stay tuned. Thanks for your time, folks. We'll see you on another video real soon. Before I leave, I'm going to do a peg test. <laughs> it's the one. I had it sitting right there. It was ready to go. So we've got some big, big old peg holes there in the front of the foot. There we go. You want to know a little bit more about these, these stands? We've made these through Kessel Run here in Collectibles. Check out the link in the website below. We do ship internationally. But yeah, they're a, they're definitely a, something we've 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 loved creating. So, as well as these sort of diorama props and pieces, so definitely come and check it out. And this time, I will say thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on another review very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.